Ahoy and welcome back. My name is Clemens Helm and you're watching CodeShip Testing Tuesday, episode 4. Last week we talked about behavior-driven development with Cucumber. This week I'm going to show you how to get most out of behavior-driven development using continuous integration and deployment. We're going to use Cucumber, CodeShip and Heroku. Last week we built our awesome superheroes guide, which contains superheroes from Metropolis and from Gotham City now. But wouldn't it be better if this was online and not just on our computer? We would like to publish this application on Heroku, but with continuous integration and deployment helping us to do so. For continuous integration and deployment, we use the code chip. We can just sign up with GitHub there and it will take us to a wizard where we can select our GitHub repository, which is superheroes. Now, once this repository is connected, we can choose Ruby on Rails as our application stack, and then Coachable already suggests us a few commands. However, we want to change our test commands because we use Cucumber here. Now we can proceed and we could also set up a deployment right now, but let's skip that for now and jump directly to our superheroes project. There's already one build in here, which made sure that the Git repository could be cloned correctly, but we see apart from that, nothing has happened so far. Let's change that. Every time we make a little change to our application and push this change to GitHub, Codeship will be informed and will run Cucumber for us. So let's give this a try. Let's say we call this instead of superheroes guide only superheroes and commit that change only superheroes. And then push it to GitHub. Now, when we go to our superheroes project again, we will see that there is one build running. And after a few minutes, we will see that the build has finished, but well, unfortunately it has failed. Let's have a look at that. And in here we see, well, when it executed Cucumber, there were failing steps. But this is kind of expected because so far I still haven't finished last week's episodes. Let's do that now. When I run Cucumber on the terminal, it will give me the same results as CodeShip does. It will say unable to find link New York in the superheroes guide. So if we add the link to New York here, New York and run Cucumber again, then I'd expect it's Spider-Man in Gotham City and that's like in last episode because we're linking to Batman here instead of Spider-Man. Now it will tell us that the template for Spider-Man is still missing. So we add the template in here. Spider-Man HTML ERB. Now Cucumber tells us that it expects an H1 in our Spider-Man HTML file. So let's add that and run Cucumber again. Now it says expected to find text Spider-Man in empty string, which is the H1. If we add Spider-Man in here, everything works. So let's commit our changes and push them to GitHub. If we look at our project now, we will see that there's another build running that was triggered automatically. And if we look at the build a little bit later, we see that everything worked. But what's the real advantage here now? If we get a lot of cucumber scenarios, running them locally gets longer and longer. And we don't want to do that every time we make a tiny little change. We just want to run the feature that we are working on actually, or even just one or two scenarios. Codechip enables us to just push our changes when we think that everything works and it will take care of verifying this assumption. 
But wouldn't it be great if our application would get deployed every time we make a little change and all our cucumber scenarios succeed? Well, that's possible as well. For this purpose, we're going to create an application on Heroku. Heroku is very easy to set up and it integrates perfectly with CodeShip. I'm going to create a new Heroku app here. Let's call it Superheroes. Superheroes Guide. And since I just relocated from Boston to Vienna, Austria, I will choose Europe as my region. Okay, finish up. And all there's left to do now is go to CodeShip, enter the deployment settings of our Superheroes project, add a new Heroku application. We can copy the name in here. And we also need to provide the Heroku API key, which we can find in our Heroku user account settings. Let's copy that as well. Finish our Heroku deployment. And the next time we push a change to GitHub, it will automatically deploy to Heroku. However, before we do that, we need to set up our Heroku application locally. Download the Heroku tool belt from toolbeltheroku.com to get the Heroku command line tool. Now we still need to add the Heroku Git remote by typing Heroku Git remote app superheroes guide. Okay, and now we're able to push our application to Heroku. Git push Heroku master. And once this is done, we can check out our beautiful superheroes guide at superheroesguideherokuapp.com. Here it is. But actually we wanted CodeShip to take care of deploying our application every time we make a change. Let's see if this works now. Let's change the title one more time. I actually preferred the superheroes guide, so let's call it my superheroes guide. Commit that change. and push it to GitHub. And our build succeeded again. If we look into the details, we can see that it didn't only execute Cucumber, but also publish the application on Heroku. So now the newest version of our app is online with title My Superheroes Guide. But what happens if there is an error in our application? We don't want an application containing errors to be deployed to Heroku. Let's try to break our application deliberately. We delete the last link, commit it again, and push it to GitHub. When we take a look at CodeShip now, we can see that our build failed. When we inspect the details, we see that it stopped right at the step that failed, and that was the cucumber scenario. So it didn't execute anything afterwards anymore. Therefore, also no deployment to Heroku was made, and our application is still in the same state. So there's still a link to Spider-Man in our online application. So this was it for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave me a comment as usual. See you next Testing Tuesday and until then, always stay shipping.